My name is Jonathan Samkange. I'm a member of parliament for Mudzi South Constituency. I am the chairman of the Legal Parliament Affairs Committee. I am married. I have four children, two boys and two girls. I am a senior partner of the Jurors in Samka. I have been practicing here for the past 25 years. I also practice in Namibia as an advocate. Welcome to Muti. <laughs> the major problem that we face is water. There is absolutely no water at all. Water is hard to find. There are very few sources where you can find clean water. There is also a problem with bridges, dams and wells, which are well protected. How old are you? I am 16. What are you doing here? I am irrigating my garden. I'm sorry. Oh. This water is not for drinking? No, it's not for drinking. It's for watering. Yes. All right. A Denmark based NGO, they were working very hard, especially in the provision of clean water. In fact, let me not even talk about clean water. There is absolutely not even dead water to talk about. There is absolutely nothing. So to talk about clean water may be an, 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 an understatement. Because one, let's talk about just water, whether it's dirty or not. But we don't have even dead water. So we can't talk about clean water. Although it is human rights, that they, uh, uh, people are entitled to have clean, clean water. But our, in my constituents, we don't have it. And the reason is that there has been consistent droughts year in, year out. This borehole used to work, however, it collapsed. We are pleading with those who can help to please come and help us so we can flush the borehole and bring it back to normal. There's no water in this area for the teachers or the students. Water is only found six to seven kilometers away from the school. The school has a big problem with water. If we can repair the ball, then the teachers and the students will have easy access to water. We are asking for help, so we can drill this well properly. Then we can have an efficient water supply, because we use it for agricultural purposes. We will also need a water pump, so that when it stops raining, we can continue to irrigate our crops. So the water in here is for irrigation alone and not for drinking? No, we drink all the water we find. We're not selective about which water to drink or not drink. Whether it's clean or dirty, we'll drink it. We are asking for assistance so that we can buy pumps. When the rainfall stops, at least we'll be able to continue to irrigate our crops. I was hoping that those I could work on, on education. But now I realize that education is a luxury. You can't talk about a, a child going to school if they don't have water. Because if they don't have water, they, can, they, can't, even, they can't even prepare meals, they can't even prepare breakfast, 
They can't, they, one needs water to drink, and if you don't have it, going to school is a luxury. And that is why I'm appealing for anyone who is interested to assist in getting, at least if you could have a, to buy a rig, so we can have our own rig. My constituency consists of at least said, about 75,000 adults. I'm not talking about those who are under 16. I'm talking about adults, not those who are attending schools, but only adults. That, that is a huge population. And that type of a population can not be serviced by an individual using his own, uh, his own funds. I have tried my best uh, uh, because some schools have uh, 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 closed, teachers have left uh, because of there is no form of communication, there is no water in the schools. But my, that is the first challenge that I have and that is what I have been working on. But I'm now hoping that I can get some uh, NGOs who can assist some other uh, well-wishers, even individuals who can assist because water is life. Without water, you don't have life. Here in Mudzi South constituency, we were lost. We were just given incompetent leaders. Ever since Mr. Samkange took power, I am happy. And we can see everything he's doing. The work that he is doing is amazing. Those who are hungry can now eat. Those who had nothing have something now, thanks to Mr. Samkang. This is an appeal from uh, me as the, the member of parliament for Muzi South for assistance so that we will be able to buy a rig in order to sink boreholes in the Muzi South. The population has is, is, is increased. Uh, the last boreholes which were sunk in the, my constituency was about 20, 25 years ago. So we definitely we need some new boreholes, but the old ones also need either to be, uh, to be refurbished or sink on the other side in order to, that we have sufficient water in the constituents. We have a huge water problem. When it's hot, it's hard to pump it out. And it runs out quickly. So I'm appealing to anyone who cares to assist us, uh, either in the form of purchasing the rigs or in the form of cash, uh, or in the form of any other assistance, like for example, we would, uh, for the boreholes we need the, we need the cylinders, we need the, the machine to pump it, we need the pipes, all this, anything that is uh, of some assistance to us.